Hi, I'm Caleb Giddings from Gun Nuts Media, and today we're answering an important question. Which is better for home defense? A 12-gauge shotgun or a pistol caliber carbine? We're going to take a look at the pros and cons of both of these platforms and decide which one I think is best for home defense. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is address the elephant in the room of terminal ballistics, okay? The 12 gauge shotgun has the best terminal ballistics for one shot stops of anything out there. There are lots of documented shootings of people getting shot with 12 gauge buckshot and it only taking one round, one shot. And the reason for that is the multi projectile nature of buckshot. In this Hornady critical defense buckshot that I'm using with my Beretta 1301, I have eight pellets, eight 32 caliber pellets, compared to a 9mm, like this Hornady Critical Defense, where I have 1.355 caliber round. So to get the same effect on target that I would get with one shot of a 12 gauge shotgun, I would need to shoot somebody five to eight times with a 9 mil. So let's just get that out of the way. The shotgun, way better at terminal ballistics. So in the terminal ballistics category, the shotgun wins. But the PCC is easier to shoot. So now we're gonna do a couple of drills and show what I'm talking about. All right, for this test, I've got three targets set up at 10 yards downrange. 10 yards is a reasonable distance that you could expect to take a shot, assuming you've properly ID'd the threat in your home. Now for this, how we're gonna evaluate this is I'm gonna shoot each target with a presumably lethal dose of ammunition. With a shotgun, that means one shot each. With the carbine, that's gonna be three shots each, all right? And we've got it on a timer, we're gonna see what takes longer. The last thing about this that should be interesting to you guys is that I'm not particularly good with a shotgun or a pistol or a carbine. I shoot handguns and I shoot them reasonably well. This, this is a little bit of witchcraft to me. So it's fun and instructional for somebody who's not highly trained on these weapon systems to see how they do, because presumably the sort of people that are buying shotguns and PCC for home defense are not highly trained on them either. All right, here we go, shotgun. One shot per target at 10 yards. All right, that was a 216 with the shotgun. My first shot on target one was out of the vital zone. I should have probably come back for a follow-up shot, but I didn't. The rest were all in the vital zone. Now, we're gonna do the same test, three shots per target with the PCC. And this is a Beretta CX4 Storm. Ah, balls. Well, I'm going to go ahead and give the shotgun one point for reliability over the CX-4 Storm. Oh, well, that first shot was a .92, so let's try that again. Three shots, Burr. Son of a bitch. Well, I think I know what I'm picking in this particular test. Shotgun all day. One more try. God bless it. All right, I want you guys to see this. Look at this. This is like the fourth one of these I've gotten, and I'm using quality ammunition from a reputable manufacturer. This thing does not want to feed today. Try this one more time. <sighs> Holy crap, it ran all three. And you know what? 
it ran all nine of those, and then it had another stoppage. So, God, this is annoying. Look at the timer. My ninth round was in 248, so it's about 0.3 seconds slower than I was with the shotgun. Now again, I'm not a very good shotgun shooter, but I was able to deliver three lethal hits to three targets in under three seconds. With the pistol caliber carbine, I, was, I had to shoot him more times, it took me longer, and obviously we're having some reliability issues with this gun right now. But that's not going to deter us, and we're going to move on to our second test. Alright, now our next test is going to be about precision. We've moved into seven yards. What if I need to take an immediate incapacitation shot, a headshot, a hostage rescue shot? How tight a pattern can I expect this shotgun to hold? Is it going to be tight enough to be suitable for self-defense? And how quickly can I deliver it? So I have one target set up downrange. It's an IDPA target. I've already shot it in the chest a whole bunch. Now we're going to shoot it one shot in the head. We're going to repeat that with the PCC shooting two shots to the head. Starting with the shotgun on safe from the high ready position. All right, let's take a look at our effect on target. All right, we're at the target that I shot with the shotgun from seven yards. That shot occurred in 1.14. I wanted to make sure that I had a nice, tight aim using the awesome rifle sights on the Beretta 1301. This bit that you see here, that's the wad. That would sting, but it's not gonna kill you, it's not gonna blind you, it's just gonna suck if it hits you. This is the actual pattern. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have all of the pellets from this pattern inside the four inch circle and it hit right behind the front sight post as well. So that means if I needed to take a hostage rescue shot at seven yards with the shotgun, I could. But is it better than the pistol caliber carbine? Let's find out. Same test, different target, but using the PCC. With the PCC though, I'm gonna fire two shots. Here we go. All right, I had two shots in 1.43 seconds and they were both really good hits. Let's take a look. Here we are with the target that I shot with the PCC. Again, both shots are within that four inch down zero in the head box. They're where I want them to be. And the first shot was in a 0.96. That was this shot in 0.96, all right? That would be, if that was the bridge of someone's nose, uh, if that was their T-zone, as you like to say, that would be immediately fatal, even with a nine mil. This one, also fatal. So both guns perfectly capable of taking hostage rescue shots at close range. However, this one, I'm giving the edge to the carbine. All right, so here's where we're at. We've established that the PCC wins in shootability. A first round headshot in 0.96 seconds that would be immediately effective, it's pretty great. I like that. We've established that the shotgun is the winner in terminal performance or lethality. So we've got a one-to-one -one tie. How are we going to break this tie? Well, there's a couple other factors that go into this. Uh, the PCC has been struggling a little bit with reliability, so that's going to draw it back. However, the shotgun loses to the PCC in terms of capacity. Even if you assume that a uh, shotgun is more lethal and it's going to be a guaranteed one-shot hit, which it's not, it's pretty close, 
but it's not guaranteed. There are no guarantees in this life other than death and taxes. Even if you assume that the shotgun is more lethal though, it still only carries six rounds. With this PCC, I have 30 rounds. So the capacity argument is in favor of the PCC. Regardless of whether or not the shotgun's gonna drop them with one stop, I can surface more targets with this than I can with the gauge. So that brings the PCC back up one. We're kind of at a tie, still. So what do we do? How do we break this tie? Well, to me, the tie comes down to ease of operation. If you have an AR-15 style PCC and you've shot an AR, that is probably one of the easiest guns on the planet to operate. If you have a pump action shotgun, I'm gonna give the edge to the PCC, right? If your shotgun's a pump gun, edge to the PCC. And I would say if your choice is between an old Remington Wingmaster and you're not gonna go get training, and a Beretta CX-4 that runs, or an M4 style carbine, get the PCC. It's going to be easier to shoot, and more importantly, it's going to be easier to shoot for a novice. If I hand this gun off to my fiance or someone who hasn't shot before, the instructions on how to shoot it are very, very straightforward, especially the way I have this one set up. Put the dot where you want the bullet to go and press the trigger. So if your choice is between a pump action shotgun and a PCC, I would say pick the PCC. However, if your choice is between a shotgun like a Beretta 1301 and a PCC, I'm going to say pick the 1301. And while the instructions on how to shoot a shotgun are a little bit more difficult, that only applies to some of the older guns with bead sights and silly nonsense. The 1301 has rifle sights on it, ghost ring sights. I can mount a dot on it if I want to. And the way this gun is sighted in, all I have to do to get somebody to shoot this well is say, put the front sight where you want a bunch of pellets to go and pull the trigger. you will get real good terminal performance. Again, I'm not great at shooting a shotgun, and this video may not have been the consumer advice that you wanted, but if you are looking for a gun for home defense and your choices is between a pump action shotgun and a PCC, get the PCC. However, if you have the opportunity to get a well-made semi-automatic shotgun like this awesome Beretta 1301, get the 1301. I'm Caleb Giddings. Until next time, remember, run your gun not your mouth.